Columbo, A Style of Questioning. Uh, police Lieutenant Frank Colombo is a seemingly slow-witted police detective, often dressed in loose or uh, poorly fitting clothes uh, that he never well, wears too well, whose fumbling, overly pol polite manner makes him an unlikely choice to solve any crime, let alone a complex murder. However, despite his very unassuming demeanor, Colombo is actually a brilliant detective with an eye for minute details and the ability to piece together seemingly unrelated incidents and information to solve crimes. Colombo's M.O. has him usually uh, quickly zeroing in on a prime suspect, often lulling that person into a false sense of security by conveying the impression that he does not actually suspect them, often purporting to actually suspect someone else. Columbo sets up circumstances which encourage them in their newfound hubris to incriminate themselves. Now, Columbo's signature interrogation technique is to conduct a friendly and seemingly innocuous interview, politely conclude and uh, exit the scene, only to stop in the doorway or return moments later and ask, uh, just one more thing. Known as a false exit, Columbo's conversations always feature a jarring question regarding an inconsistency in either the crime scene or the suspect's alibi. Uh, the banality of the interview, combined with Columbo's ostensible uh, absent-mindedness and seeming in, incompetence, uh, encourage the spec suspect to feel they're safe. Uh, Columbo's trademark, uh, one more thing, is the first clue that this is not the case. Columbo may pretend to be befriend a suspect, making them believe that he is investigating another individual and enlisting the suspect's aid in gathering information. Thus, suspects inevitably let down their guard because they are working with Columbo. In the end, most of the criminals are stunned or chagrined. Others are worn out and almost relieved when the charade is finally over. Columbo thus re represents a wholesale departure from traditional hard-pressing course heavy tough guy investigators who try to bully suspects with their badge or gun and their gruff demeanor. Comparably, through the use of simple Columbo-style questions, cash card lead agents become far more effective than traditionally trained representatives. Qualifying Prospects Columbo-Style During a visit with an agent prospect, you'll find the best use of your time to be the gathering of information. This gathering will primarily involve listening. Yes, you'll know cash card, but you're not trying to push cash card on anyone. You're trying to qualify this prospect to see if they have the background and professional personality appropriate to be a productive and profitable team agent in your territory. To best gather information from your prospect, you will find it to your advantage to ask questions. And that includes what might appear to be some very obvious questions. Uh, to that end, you'll probably want to learn to become more appropriately thoughtful for the situation or, if you will, more reflective, more contemplative, and more introspective. As here applied, that means in, uh, that instead of talking, listen and respond so as to best intelligently fit this prospect to the cash card agent situation. Uh, we found that the best response is often a cursory acknowledging reply followed by another harmless question or just a question itself. The end of this is not to do a federal third degree investigation, but only to qualify the prospects sitting before you, qualifying of which realistically can result in their no longer being considered and permit you to move on to your next prospect. Cash card recruitment training is designed to enable you to craft your end of the conversation with the prospect in a way where you learn everything about them you need to know. You already know that we've made a ton of highly insightful cash card information available to your prospects, so providing any additional background on cash card to your prospect is an, you know, it's entirely your option. Your prospect should know what they, uh, that they can go out to the web and get all the cash card inside scoop they can handle available to them in high definition video, digital audio, and printable hard copy. You answer any of the questions already covered by our web posted information only at your option and election to handle the situation as you wish, with the possible risk of maybe wasting some of your time going over information wheels Cash Card has already invented. Your goal is to listen to the prospect and permit them to share with you their motivations as to why they're interested in becoming a Cash Card agent. 
using your background with cash card you determine if this is someone you want on your agent team cash card is too strong and too good of a program to be pushed on people it has more than enough strength growth potential and income for most prospects so it doesn't need to be sold to them or forced upon them most of the people who expressed an interest in cash card either won't be able to handle it or will have some personal challenge or hang up with the business that guaranteed you won't want to put up with the colombo approach On the popular TV mystery series of decades ago, the world's most famous detective and introspective interviewer, uh, Detective Frank Colombo, made head-scratching basic questions and looks of minor confusion fashionable. If you're old enough, you may remember how he would uh, enter a crime scene just to ask the, the occasional obvious and dumb question, and how he used that uh, hand-to-his-head movement uh, to give the impression that he's a bit slow on the uptake. Plus, his obsessive note-taking was legendary, all consummating in him giving the impression that it was a constant struggle uh, for him to make sense of anything. Columbo planned it all, of course, to lower his suspect's guard. Consequently, his suspects always tended to open up more to him and to speak more frankly. After all, uh, they figured, uh, what would it hurt? Uh, what could this obviously challenged person uh, do with their information? But, after a series of deceptively simple questions, the detective always caught the guilty party. No one escaped Columbo, the most successful, most fundamental investigator of all. So now then, imagine Columbo as a cash card lead agent. See him conversationally engage with the prospect and watch his replies. The cash card opportunity is too expensive. Looks like you won't be able to be an agent for us then, huh? Oh, I've never heard of cash card. And that means... When can we get started? I'm not sure. When do you think you'd be able to get started? At every step, Columbo slightly and acceptably reverses the prospect's question and is not always definite with his reply. Playing a Columbo-like role is, as can be appreciated, perhaps a bit hard to accustom oneself to and may even seem entirely counterproductive and out of sync with human nature. Reason? After all, uh, no one wants to look foolish in front of a prospect. You will find it, however, entirely more productive than continually showcasing uh, business practice features and benefits to the prospect. Those features and benefits are readily available to the prospect and reviewable as often as they may wish. Uh, but those features and benefits uh, by nature are not and cannot be uh, conversative or interactive with the prospect. You, as the lead agent, can be. You apply the personal touch. In addition to volumes of uh, variable script Cash Card provides you, you ask just fundamental basic questions that you originate from the prospect's own dialogue that enable you to politely and intuitively pro probe to the prospect's true motivations, sentiments, and capabilities. But as you practice the cash card simple question approach, you'll find you quickly arrive at those age of prospects which make the, most, the absolute best and most capable candidates for your territory. We at Cash Card realize that our lead agents have a life apart from their territory. Being a lead agent is just a role, if you will, played in certain circumstances. Uh, none of us uh, have cash card, uh, cash card green blood flowing in our veins, after all. Uh, we encourage you to get good at that role, and the best way to get good at it and be good at it is to ask simple questions. You enable the prospective agent to talk. Because uh, everyone's favorite conversational topic is themselves, you just naturally hit on their favorite subject. This allows the prospect to qualify or disqualify themselves. Uh, it removes any pressure from you and enables you to simply cross-compare all of your agent candidates. Stated another way, if you talk less, you'll certainly learn more, plus you'll often make more, and you conserve valuable time. Two axioms I personally coined some time, some time back apply here. One, communication is the road understanding travels on. And two, I learn nothing while speaking. This part of your lead agent work then becomes more simple, 
more natural and more profitable. As far as the prospective agent's background in cash card itself or consumer finance goes, that's immaterial. You're looking for candidates evidencing the most intelligence, the most energy, and the highest probability of flexibly fitting what you need in an agent. A fitting adage is recruit today, educate tomorrow. We appreciate that the Colombo approach may initially appear to go against your grain. It often does for everyone. But as it's practiced, uh, the practitioners find the supreme values in it. A, you get a better grade of agent. B, you make more money. Uh, were there other reasons uh, you're bringing agents on board in your territory? Well, none that we can think of. Colombo reverses that keep you in charge. It can be dangerous to reveal too much product knowledge during a presentation. A point you make to clinch the deal may actually kill it if you talk the prospect out of signing on. But can you imagine ever listing yourself out of a closed deal? You've learned how to use reverses to get prospects to discover their pain and make their positions more clearly known. Colombo reverses serve three additional purposes. First, they keep you from prematurely dumping product knowledge that may in fact hurt your cost. Second, they enable you to test the waters regarding the value of a particular feature or benefit before sharing it with the prospect. And third, the more you appear perplexed, then the more you disarm prospects, decrease their resistance, and make them feel better about themselves. Avoiding Dumping Product Knowledge Here are some Colombo reverses from industries other than consumer finance. The prospect inquires on delivery. How soon can we get this? I'll check. Is there a specific requirement? The prospect asks about choices. Is this available in blue? I'll have to inquire. Do you need any other colors? The prospect wonders about capacity. Now, what's the maximum capacity of the system? That's a good question. I'll check if it's important. Is it? The prospect poses a price challenge. Your competition is cheaper than you. Oh, I guess I won't be getting the order then, huh? The prospect throws a not convinced obstacle in front of the rep. I'm not convinced yet. Oh, I see. Uh, what should I have shown you? The prospect challenges business tenure. How long have you been in business? That's an interesting question. You must have asked it for a reason. The prospect asks about a guarantee. Is it guaranteed? Supposing I said it was. What happens next? Supposing I said it wasn't. The prospect suffers some minor sticker shock. It's more than I'd like to spend. That's not unusual. Off the record, how much were you hoping it would be? The prospect replies with a number. The prospect indicates the conversation is over. That's it? That's it. So fixing your problem isn't that important? Well, no, of course not. Sure, fixing it's important. Which parts do you want to fix? Or, just as importantly, which parts do you want to leave unfixed? Test the waters regarding the value of a feature or benefit. If the prospect answers any of the following reverses in the affirmative, respond with, oh, why is that? For negative answers, say, I didn't think so. I don't suppose. I don't suppose. A major benefit of your offer. Would be of interest to you? The takeaway. It's probably not the case here, but sometimes I'm asked if we can... A popular customization request of an offer. You didn't want us to do that, did you? The third party story. Last week I had a customer who was asking for... A popular customization request. Because it would help the company. A bottom line benefit the request provides. 
Would that be relevant here? Do I have it straight? So let me see if I have this straight. What you're hoping we can do is... Summarize the pain relief you hear this prospect asking for. Is that right? It's probably not important. It's probably not important for this to have... Something you're convinced is important to this prospect. Is it, Chip? Keep these Columbo-style replies nearby. I'm not sure. When you say... Whatever's of concern to the prospect... I'm not sure I understand what you mean. I'm confused. I'm confused, Chip. Help me with that. I need help. I have a problem that I need your help with. What's the problem? The problem is... This might be an unreasonable stance the prospect is taking. Can you help me? I'm slow. I'm not as quick as some. I just need a little more help. Can you tell me again what you're hoping we'll do for you? I'm getting lost. I'm getting lost, Chip. Would it be okay if I asked you a few questions?